Yeah, man. Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you mild chili. Half pound ground ground beef. Make sure it's ground beef, not minced meat. Eight garlic cloves, mashed or grinded or shredded. Two onions, diced, fine stock of scallion which is optional one cup tomato diced with seed you can peel it or not one sweet pepper or bell pepper diced when it's diced it should measure half cup half tablespoon shredded red pepper you don't want to use a shredded red pepper you can use chili pepper half tablespoon paprika grounded paprika two tablespoons of cumin seed or cumin seed you can use one tablespoon of grounded cumin powder instead no sorry quarter tablespoon cayenne pepper one teaspoon oregano Half teaspoon marjoram, one and one half tablespoon of parsley. You can use any of these herbs fresh. I'm looking for the rosemary. one teaspoon rosemary, rosemary leaves, one teaspoon salt. I use sea salt. 8 ounce can tomato sauce tomato sauce no salt 1 tablespoon white vinegar distilled white vinegar 1 cup water first we're going to start by preparing the vegetables this is our bell pepper just cut off the root end Remove the seeds. With the onion, I like to cut my onion in half. That way, it is easier to handle. Do what I'm doing and peel the onion, remove the brown leaf. The first layer of the onion is the strongest. So you just want to remove the brown leaf. Peel garlic cloves, cut off ends, trim spoilage. Scallion. Remember, the scallion is optional. If it's not available in your region, it's okay. Remove dying leaves, cut off ends. Do what I'm doing. Trim spoilage of garlic. Now I'm gonna rinse my vegetables. It's best if you do this part on the fresh running water. I just drizzled several drops of distilled white vinegar in a bowl, add the vegetables. You 
use your fingers and wash the, the bell pepper properly the scallions leaf properly and the skin of the tomato properly as well once you do that remove the water and give it a final rinse all right now we're going to dice our vegetables shred garlic to puree or shred it fine Dice scallion fine. Next, dice onion. Fine. Trim off the root end and throw that out. What I like to do is just make some vertical lines and then turn it sideways and then dice it fine. And then dice onion fine. For now, keep the onion separate. Keep the onion, the diced onion in a separate bowl along with the diced scallion. If you so desire, you can peel a tomato, but it's not necessary. Do what I'm doing, cut off end. We're going to dice the tomato fine, in cubes, in fine cubes. So what I like to do is cut the tomato in quarters, then turn it sideways, and then dice it. Before I forget, this is mild chili. So if you want spicy or hot chili, use two tablespoons of shredded red pepper or, or chili pepper, the chili pepper powder instead. day you want one cup of diced tomato if you don't want to do it this way you can always buy the canned or tomato in a, in a tin but fresh is best the 
bell pepper dice bell pepper what I like to do is just cut little little flakes I call them strips then kind of hold a few of them together and then dice bell pepper fine After dice, you want half cup, half cup of diced bell pepper. The, the onions. Put it alongside the diced onions into the bowl. As for the garlic, you can add the garlic alongside the diced tomato in the bowl. Cover and put your vegetables aside for later. Now we're going to prepare and gather all our herbs, vegetables, dried ingredients and so forth. So measure and add half tablespoon of shredded red pepper or you can use chili chili pepper instead chili pepper chili powder instead but I'm going natural this is grounded paprika Quarter tablespoon of grounded paprika, cumin, cumin, cumin or cumin seeds. Measure and add two tablespoons. If you don't want to use the seeds, and you want to use a cumin powder. Only use one tablespoon. English people call it cumin and the Americans call it cumin cumin cayenne grounded cayenne pepper quarter tablespoon of grounded cayenne pepper Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. This is oregano. One teaspoon of dried oregano. You can use any of these herbs fresh. Just dice it fine. Quarter tablespoon of marjoram. Marjoram. One tablespoon and one half of parsley, dried parsley. 
parsley. Now this is rosemary. You want the leaves to be fine, just grind it fine. Measure and add one teaspoon. This is my special recipe that I've tried and I like it so I'm just sharing it with you. This is Miguel's mild chili. So that was one teaspoon of sea salt. Now this is our dried ingredients, herbs and so forth. Put this bowl aside for later. This is an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Now you use your canned opener and open this can. But if you want to do it like me, just remember, cut away from you. And when you open it, put the, the cut end in a corner, like to the back of, of something, so that you won't, so that we won't have any accident. And this is our ground beef. So measure one cup water and put it aside. Have it ready. I'm just adding this one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar in the water so that I won't forget. Now we're going to start cooking. This is a medium sized saucepan. Be sure the saucepan is dried out. Put the stove's gauge on 4, medium low. Allow 30 seconds between a minute. After 30 seconds, thereabout, add ground beef. It's best if you use ground beef instead of minced meat. This is 100% beef grounded. With minced meat, they have fat and, and, and other things in it. So yes, see, ground, round. I don't know what round means, but maybe somebody watching, working in a supermarket can tell us what round means. Alright, so this is what you want. You just want to add the beef, the minced or grounded beef to the pot, to the saucepan no oil do what i'm doing and kind of stir fry stir fry it until it's completely fried and cooked so stir it in for a minute or so and let it stay and cook and then stir it in again Stove's gauge is on four, medium low. Now would be a good time to add half the mashed garlic, half diced onions, as well as the scallion. Stir in the cooking. Stir in a few times and allow. The stove's gauge is on four, medium low. Allow. Allow our grounded beef to cook, cook through before we had the other ingredients. Just be patient, 
do what I'm doing use your cooking spoon and stir in the grounded beef cooking in a saucepan that's cooking in the saucepan until it's cooked through until you see no more red until you see no more raw meat not even that little bit you just don't want to see no rawness all right so once you do that add the bowl of dried ingredients with the herbs salt and other ingredients after that add your tomato sauce use the water wash the can of tomato sauce out then add the one cup water now stir in properly this is the first step for cooking this is the first step for start cooking chili now next add your diced tomato with the remaining mashed garlic stir it in a few times Use the saucepan's lid. Cover the saucepan properly. No, not yet. Now this is the other half of the onion. We're gonna add it halfway through cooking. So now, now, use the pan's lid. Cover the saucepan properly. Now would be a good time to turn the stove gauge on low almost off low some people call it simmering let me show you this is how you want the gauge to be almost off low not medium you want it to be on low tortitos tortitos point is you can use any chip and today i'm going to use you can use sh shredded um any shredded cheese you like you don't have to be special type. you can use any type of cheese shredded Today I have this block of cheese that I'm going to shred. 30 minutes now. And this is what it looks like. See, just, just give your pot a few stirs. See the water is not drying out too fast. That's why you don't want the flame on higher. You don't want the flame higher than this. So you got to watch that. Because you don't want all the water to dry out before you, before, you, before you start cooking. So I'm going to gauge this even lower. It's already between low and half, but I'm gonna try and gauge it lower. You see, see how low it gets? That's where you want it. An hour later, this is what it looks like. We are on the right track. And remember now, keep the lid closed within the time. Do not open it every minute. And let the flavor escapes this is what you want we are on the right track it's moist and it's not drying out too fast now add the other half onion diced onion and add your diced bell pepper into your chili, your mild chili brewing on the stove or simmering or simmering on the stove so stir it in a few times use the pan's lid cover it properly and allow the stove's cage is still on low almost off low allow keep the lid covered within the time one hour and 30 minutes 
I am keeping the lid covered within the time I'm just showing it to you. Allow. Stove gauge is still on almost off low. It's still on simmering. You can smell the aroma. The cumin, seeds. Alright, it's been two hours now and this is what it looks like. It's been on low so you know it's not dried out. It's just cooking and, 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 and adding flavor to your chili. So this is what you want. It's cooked but it's a little bit moist so what we're gonna do now is turn the stove up some and then let it dry out I'm gonna keep the lid off so now would be a good time to turn the stove's gauge up Those gauge up on two, which is like low, low. And we're gonna allow the remaining water in our chili to evaporate. Stir it in a few times. See how your chili is sticking to the pot's bottom and allow. Or feel how your chili is sticking to the pot's bottom and allow. It's been five minutes since we turned the stove up. So we've been cooking two hours and five minutes now. So this is what you want. The water in the chili is evaporating slowly. This is just a piece of garlic. You see the vegetables in our chili. You can see the tomato. Bell pepper onions you see it's a little bit it's a moist when I sink the spoon in the middle of this the chili is to see how moist it is see I keep the lid off the stove's gauge is on two still Allah. 10 minutes later this is what it looks like on a higher flame and this is what it looks like. You can obviously see the water evaporating slowly. We are on the right track. This is all you want your chili. You want your chili to be thick and just right. You see when I had a spoon in the middle of this chili, oh you see less sauce. That's what you want. You want it to, at the end of the day, you don't want to see no sauce running over in the spoon. This is 12 minutes. You gotta watch it. Once the chili starts to stick to the pot's bottom somewhat, that's a sign to say it's ready. You see, when I sink the spoon in the middle of the chili, you see less and less sauce running in the spoon. This is homemade cooking now, you know? and we this is natural cooking too as well no powdered seasoning in this chili this is all natural vegetables or grounded vegetables dried grounded vegetables this is what you want nice mild chili if you want this chili to be spicy just add two tablespoons of shredded red pepper or two tablespoons of chili pep chili powder this is what you want once the chili starts sticking to the pot's bottom once the chili starts sticking to the pan's bottom that's a sign to say it's ready you want it to be thick and just right not runny or liquidy. While you stir, the water in the chili will evaporate. 
and keep all the nice sauce and vegetables in the chili, in the chili stew. Fifteen minutes now on higher flame and this is what it looks like. This chili is sticking to the pot's bottom. It's just about ready. See? See the chili sticking to the pot's bottom? That's it. To the pan's bottom? That's it. We're finished. Turn the stove off. Just keep it covered until serving. Remember now you can use cheddar, cheese, mozzarella. Just use your favorite brand of cheese, of shredded cheese. But today I have this cheddar, this block of cheddar cheese. I'm gonna shred myself. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. Today I'm having it with potatoes. You can have it with any kind of chip. I see they have vegetarian chips, some green ones, wheat ones, all types. You can also serve this with taco or soft taco with shredded lettuce and so forth it's best served warm so this is Miguel's mild chili homemade chili take a scoop of this delicious if you could just smell the aroma you know chili you can smell the cumin cumin seeds cumin or cumin, cu cumin seeds. I'm laying it in a bowl. This is mild homemade chili. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, and share. You should try cooking this meal yourself. When you do, give us feedback. Mild chili. Now I'm just sprinkling shredded cheddar cheese right over my mild chili. So you're going to witness me eating this chili now. Miguel's mild chili. Natural cooking natural cooking recipe visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe mild chili mild homemade chili if you could just smell the aroma you would beg me some all right time to sample You must agree, it looks good. The flavor is awesome. It's just mild and nice and flavorful. The herbs complements this, this Miguel's mild chili well. See how the cheese just melt. Right, so the cheese just melt into the chili. The flavor is just right. The cumin seeds, what makes chili chili. 
I like using the seeds instead of the powder. It's natural more. But the powder cumin is the seeds grounded anyway. Very flavorful. All I have to say, it tastes just like chili. The herbs blend perfect with this meal. I'm not even tasting any one herb. The only herb that stands out is the cumin. Cumin seeds. You can add this with soft taco, hard taco with some shredded lettuce and then you just sprinkle the cheese on top. The sauce, the tomato sauce is, goes nice. I can taste the flavor of the tomato sauce. As you can see, the diced tomato kind of still stands out. This sauce, this chili, is very mild. A child can eat it. You can serve this to children. I'm not kidding, it's very mild. You can eat this meal with rolls. If you don't want to use chips, you can eat this meal with rice. You can eat this meal with shredded lettuce or a salad. I might do the kidney beans, chili. You should try making Miguel's homemade chili. When you do, you're going to love it. I am enjoying this meal right now. It's easy on the stomach. Flavor is awesome. It's a okay. I know some of you might say we don't use herbs in chili, but this is Miguel's special recipe that I'm sharing with you. Like I said, if you want this meal to be spicy, if I don't get around to do a spicy video, you can always add two tablespoons of shredded red pepper or chili pepper, the same thing. Or, or chili powder.
my method of cooking this meal is very effective. If you keep the stove's gauge, the flame, on low, almost off low, you won't spoil this meal. You, you, you must allow the chili to cook through properly for the two hours. without adding additional water. See, I'm just gonna try a different chip. This one has a little, this one is kind of spicy. So if you do what I do, you can go wrong. If you do what I do, you cannot go wrong. Try using the herbs like I do and you will enjoy the flavor of this chili. Use natural vegetables. Dice your own tomatoes. Chop and dice your own vegetables. As you can tell, I'm eating this whole bowl of chili. It's flavorful. You will love it. If you try it, you'll like it. If you try it, you love it. And it's not salty as well. I only use one teaspoon of sea salt. The salt is just right. All right, bye. Yeah, man.